radioactive materials. They play an important role in medical, research, and commercial facilities. They're found in equipment that saves lives and builds economies worldwide, but in the wrong hands. High-activity radioactive sources can be used to create radiological dispersal devices or dirty bombs and in other acts of terrorism. Although radiation sources do a lot of good for medical facilities, they help cancer patients, they help in terms of being able to irradiate blood and purify it, they also pose a great threat if they fall into the wrong hands. If a terrorist or criminal gets a hold of that, one, a criminal could sell it, or use it as a radiological exposure device, or terrorists can make a dirty bomb or RDD, it would have a catastrophic effect here in the city. Part of the Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration, the Office of Radiological Security, or ORS, works with government, law enforcement, and business around the world to provide world-class security technologies, training, source recovery, and alternative technology replacement initiatives to users of high-activity radioactive sources. These sources, such as cesium-137, cobalt-60, americium-241, and iridium-192, are used to treat cancer, irradiate blood, sterilize equipment, and can be found in use in life-saving medical and research facilities and industrial operations in communities worldwide. Unfortunately, it only takes a small amount of high-activity radioactive materials to make an RDD. The amount of cesium-137 that could fit in a salt shaker would be more than enough for a nationally significant RDD. Terrorist groups have previously demonstrated interest in obtaining radioactive materials and have the expertise needed to weaponize them. Radioactive materials can be vulnerable to theft by a wide range of adversaries, including global terrorists, homegrown violent extremists, lone wolves, and insiders. Hospitals, research laboratories, and industrial sites that use radioactive materials are all open facilities and therefore considered soft targets. These facilities could be easily accessed and their security personnel are often unarmed. You know, hospitals are vulnerable to attack. I mean, we've, we've known this. Uh, Post 9-11, uh, Homeland Security has issued numerous bulletins regarding how we are soft targets. So we had the, the bulletins, the warnings, and you know, the knowledge that we had cesium 137 within our facility. Uh, in our case, uh, the location of the source material was very close to our 24-7 access for the hospital. So that was another concern. So we uh, entered into an agreement with ORS uh, in 2011. And we uh, took this to a really a, a layered approach for security. ORS uses three strategies to enhance global radiological security. They include protecting radioactive sources for vital medical, research, and commercial purposes removing and disposing of disused radioactive sources, and reducing the global reliance on high-activity radioactive sources by promoting the adoption and development of non-isotopic alternative technologies. To execute these strategies domestically, ORS provides federally funded security assessments and enhancements along with training, source removal, and strategies for alternative technologies to qualified businesses and community responders. Currently, over 940 sites throughout the U.S. and over 1,000 sites in over 80 other countries have made a commitment to enhance the security of their radioactive sources. Mount Sinai Health System is incredibly fortunate to identify ORS as one of our partners. They are a resource group. They understand our concerns. They understand our limitations. They understand logistics. They understand flow. They understand facilities and systems and we're very very quick to not only identify for us and bring to us solutions but solutions that were very cost effective that were very easily implemented and that certainly made sense within the larger structure of our our medical center we're an umbrella of over 25 individual institutes and each one of them performs biomedical research in their area Many of them have a demand for irradiators as part of that biomedical research support. We have to make sure that each and every irradiator out there is equally protected against the terrorist threat. So the demand that we have for security means our needs for the Office of Radiological Security go hand in hand to help achieve that mission. Before the ORS program, we really didn't know what we had. 
We didn't know the dangers involved. We didn't know how to appropriately respond. We didn't have a, a coordinated response to that particular type of danger. The program that made the threat real made us understand exactly what we had and what the danger was that if that got out. And it provided us the tools as far as the training and the hardware uh, to give us the data we needed to respond and to give us the proper response so we knew what to bring to the fight if the fight happens. Fast and intelligent response to a radiological security event is key to minimizing impact. ORS assists in this area, bringing federal partners, site security staff, and community first responders together to train using customized situational and alarm response training, as well as tabletop exercises. Collaborative training enhances team building as participants prepare for a real-life emergency using ORS equipment that is installed and in use at their facilities. We brought the customized alarm response training from Y-12 back to our site here in Philadelphia. We've been training in this at our own headquarters in Philadelphia and also with the Philadelphia Police Department. Our partnership with Philadelphia Police includes our officers and their officers in training together along with our dispatchers to ensure that all of us are aware of what we have on our campus and what we have throughout the city that our officers may need to respond to. The ORS training basically set our standard as as how we train now. We train in the same fashion where we try to educate and then we teach people how to, how to respond to those alarms using the same models that they taught us. The ORS site security enhancements as well as the training is helping us keep radiation out of the hands of terrorists. Along with protecting radiological sources, ORS also helps facilities remove and properly dispose of disused radioactive sealed sources that do not have a commercial disposal pathway. We will help the licensee by going and recovering this material, transporting it to a safe staging facility, and then finally disposing of it at a proper Department of Energy facility. Reducing the overall presence of high-activity radioactive sources can have a positive impact on global security. Replacing high-risk devices that use radioactive sources, such as cesium-137, with alternative technology devices such as X-ray can reduce or eliminate the cost of securing high-activity radiological devices and associated risks. Today, new alternative devices perform as good as or better than high-activity radiological devices for many applications. ORS's Cesium Irradiator Replacement Project offers incentives to businesses interested in replacing blood and research irradiators containing high-activity cesium-137 with newer X-ray devices. ORS also provides incentives on a case-by-case -case basis to replace Cobalt-60 devices. ORS works with qualified U.S. facilities who are interested in converting to alternative technologies for blood irradiation, research irradiation, and radiotherapy. One of the responsibilities of radiation safety officer is to inform the leadership about the risk. And one of the risks that we noticed was the, the use of radioactive material for malicious purposes. We decided to use alternative technology. As of now, we are one of the largest healthcare institutions in Northeast of the United States, and maybe the largest and we are the only one that has no radioactive radiator. We have disposed all of them, and we use only X-ray radiator. Blood irradiation is a safety measure that we have to do to blood products to protect certain patients from a very dangerous side effect of transfusion. Before I came to Children's National, I was based at another pediatric hospital, and there we also had transitioned from having cesium irradiated products to x-ray irradiated products. Using the same calculus about risk to the organization and also the requirements around having a cesium irradiator, we felt that the best decision was to use x-ray irradiation um, in the blood bank to protect our patients from um, adverse effects of transfusion. ORS has been there for us when we need help and is there now and it will be there when we need them to help us. So I, I thank ORS from the bottom of my heart. To find out more about how you can do your part to secure your business, your community, and your country, contact the Office of Radiological Security or visit our website.